Hello Terrarians and welcome to episode 23 of Terraria. Uh, today I just wanted to do a quick recording because it's a Monday and I'm not at school which is awesome, yay! Woo! So I did build quite a lot of off camera still as you can see now this tree is pretty much complete I'm just wondering what I'm gonna put in it I'm gonna definitely gonna try put some um, chests and buildings and stuff maybe I was gonna think of having a little house hanging here maybe for the witch doctor that we can put here even though I can't really think of much to use the witch doctor and if you haven't looked at the mini map yet we have also started to make some more houses down here which are not yet complete, but they these are going to be used for something eventually. Don't really know what, but I definitely want to have some kind of big underground tunnel system. Because if you look on the map, we've built a lot at the top, but none at the bottom. None up the bottom? N none at the bottom. So in this episode, we're going to be getting a lot of resources and stuff by going to the jungle. So I haven't really sorted what, what I'm taking for the jungle yet. So I'm going to have to go get some stuff. Because it's so far on the map, I'm definitely going to be in need of be a bed so I can set my spawn there. Um, one way I can do that is, yeah, taking a bed. But I don't want to take the one from my house. But luckily, because of the pirate evasion, we have all this loot that I got last time. So, I'll just take this golden bed, so we won't be using it for a while, and use that. Then we'll go to the small little house we built there, and we can use that as our spawn point for today. And then as soon as you want to come back, we can just destroy it. So I just need to get rid of all my junk, which I'm not using. Here. Yeah, you're going to need a lot of rope. I carry up around so much rubbish. Also, um, while I was off camera, awesome thing happened. Full moon happened, and I actually managed to get two um, moon charms. Here's one. It's a fleeting moon charm. And the other one's in this chest, I think. Did I put it in here? I put it in a chest. Actually no, I think I put it in my piggy bank, but the other one was just a normal mood charm, and then I got second time a fleeting one. So I was really happy because I didn't think I was going to get that, but I would have preferred to get it on camera, but oh well. Um, so yeah, what's this? Let's see if take some wood just in case we don't want to leave anything useful behind, like building blocks in case we need to make an emergency bridge. Might as well um, pause it all and then take what we need from here. Ooh. Um, yeah, I keep finding things that I don't really know I know what are or need. Um, this, I don't know what it is. I found this on my DS and then I found it recently on the Corruption Desert. I don't know what it does. I think if I find a normal desert and get one of these, maybe they'll make some kind of item. But probably not a very good one by the look of it. Um, what do I need from here? I need rope. Hold me. That's pretty much it. Any glass because using that earlier. And um, yeah, I've got a pretty pretty cluttered inventory. But you need these things sometimes. And all my stuff for building the tree. I really need to put somewhere else, but I wanna keep it around for later just in case really. Just in case something happens that I don't want to. Because I could always die when walking towards the jungle and that would be a pain, but these things that Did you hear that? It was just a really, really deep quack noise. <laughs> that was weird. Anyway, so let's start heading. Um, so, we've got everything we need. We've got the bed for the spawn point. We've got our swords and all. One thing about the jungle, now it's in hard mode, it is extremely hard with all the um, little bouncy guys and stuff. If you haven't played Terraria before and you're just watching this for your first time, if you're just deciding to get Terraria, you really should because it's absolutely awesome. But the jungle is a complete death trap as soon as you get into hard mode. Because there's these little bouncing bugs, can't remember what they're called, but... And all these uh, gigantic turtles. Uh, and corruption spreading. But yeah, it's really hard to fight. I just cleared this place out of corruption and already the corruption's completely back. This entire area, I um, turned back to normal when I um, was uh, farming it for sand. I purified it, but it's already completely corrupted again. I'm probably gonna have to try to get a biome spray over that to try to get rid of this corruption because I don't really want this one here. I like the one on the other side more. Look at all this, so much stuff there. Um, so now we just got this long trek to go. If I press tab, should be able to see it. Yeah, you can now see another layer of the biome. 
just try to jump and everything. But yeah, no, no map at all. Need a map. Okay, so now we just gotta make that long track there. Set up the base, and then we should be good to go. I'll make a quick cut so I can get there, because it is quite a long way to go. Okay, so it seems that we've made it, and we've already encountered this guy. And they're the guys I'm talking about. Those bugs can take you down really quickly if you're not prepared. So we need to be wary of them. Better get the yo-yo of awesomeness out, because it's so OP. Just stand up here. Yeah. Look, and there's a toll. We've got all those really hard guys to kill. And when I say that, they can stay away, but oh well, you know what I mean. Because if you're right up next to them, they are a pain. Okay, let's get down there. Somewhere down here, I have built a small base where I should be able to get this one. Look at this guy. Yeah, there we go. Somewhere down there is a base that I built. I should be able to stay on cover for a minute. I take this down here. Yo yo is so good! Woo! Love you. Okay, now I just need to try to figure out how I'm meant to get in. I'll dig my way into it now. And rebuild yours. Hopefully no NPCs accidentally move in here. Have I got any torches? No, but I can make some left that still. Why's that guy dying? Oh, he's getting shot by my cat. Go get him. Okay, so there we go. Base should be secure now. Ish, and I should be able to just place this bed here. Hopefully, get in. Nope. I think I need to make a door and stuff, so this might be a bit of a pain, but it looks like I've got stuff that I can make it with. Look at that giant fox bat thing. Terrifying. You see why, um, you can see why I don't just want to. Um, well, you can see why I want to make a spawn point here because it's so easy to die. All these guys here are just tail to strengths. I accidentally made them, but oh well. <laughs> can I? Is it? Is it bed yet? Nope. Need some kind of door or something. See that turtle just did that spinning thing. They will home on you after when they do that. It's absolutely terrifying, they kill you pretty much immediately. Half the time. Eat the things. Why can't I set my spawn? Oh, it's really odd. Uh, probably need actual rules. We're gonna do a quick renovation and then I'll be right back. Yeah, we have set our spawn now, so this is all good. So now I guess we can start adventuring. You can see on the map here, we have explored quite a lot, but we have not explored this area here. So it'd be a good idea to go down there. So we'll follow the rail down as soon as it stops, pretty much going straight down. So this is going to be a bit of a pain for these guys here, but as long as I got my yo-yo, should be safe. Just have to keep running and try to escape all these guys. Oh, that's my mouse. Pick the minecart rail. I really should kind of set my base up there because it just looks so cool. I should be pretty much here. Turtle, turtle. See, rolling, terrifying. Blah, blah. <laughs> okay, so under here, we need to find a way of getting into here. We need some kind of better source of light than the current one. What was that? Oh. Dragon away. Oh. Take care of that turtle. Bring them down, minion. There we go. Didn't drop anything. They can drop, I think it's like turtle husks or something, and you can use that to make armor, which is pretty neat. At least we're getting a solid frame rate today, which is good a lot better than uh, last episode. If you watched that, you would have experienced a nasty lie, which wasn't very nice at all. Okay, we're now inside. Trapper. Those guys look pretty strong, so I'm probably gonna try to take them out of this. It's quite good, useful, really, because this yo yo things that sets on fire can give you a source of light for a small bit. So, not enough to keep you going, though. So much water in here, probably gonna end up drowning. <laughs> oh, good, an opening. Time to flood it. Yes, the water. It has freed. So many. The freedom of water is being blessed upon this land. 
even though because it's a jungle it probably gets plenty of water and I'm actually just drowning the living wildlife inside it. But you know, water can help. Ooh, take peek down this guy. Just in there. Darting. The sword is pretty good so that's quite useful. Take these guys out. Should be trying to find a um, spider cave really and farming them for their uh, armor. That would be a good thing to do, might do that later on. But I don't know how long to be down there searching for. Nothing really been found yet, but you never know, we might find something quite cool. Cool accessories or something we can use. Um, let's see. We definitely want to try find some... Not troppers, some green gems. I can't remember what they're called. Emeralds or something? Because, ooh. Uh, yeah. I need them for the treehouse over a certain time I'm going off at the moment. Nope, can't get them. I did get some ores earlier. Some blue ones. Don't know where they've gone though. I reckon I didn't pick them up or something. Okay, time to go deeper. Yep, we still haven't explored this area, so this seems good. Good place to go. Do the whoops. Really need some source of light. Not getting much. Even my little orb isn't really helping that much. There's an ore, let's try to get down to that, see what that is, see if I can mine it yet. See if I have a strong enough pickaxe. There we go. Oh, it's just iron. Iron's useful though, we can make uh, rails and stuff like that, so I'll just take that. It'd be quite cool. I was thinking of making some kind of trainway, but they're just so expensive to build. It's better just to make teleporters. And teleporters are a bit more fancy and a ton quicker, so... No advantage. Ah, uh, traps. Nearly died. Also, while we are down here, we can look for some life crystals. Life crystals, heart gems, whatever. Uh, that would be quite easy. Look at all these plants. Looks like a place that Plantera would spawn. We do not want to spawn Plantera up. Oh, well. That guy's going to be going for us. Do your time. With the power of yo yo. Nothing happened. I didn't get anything good as usual. <laughs> Whoa. Get a sword. Sword has a bit of light. Someone's shooting us. Fiery arrows. There we go. Got him. Ooh, his body just flew out through that wall. Good memories raiding this beehive. <laughs> and all that I can mine? Yes, please. What was that? Nature's gift. What was that? I just got like a violent nature's gift or something it just said. Don't know where that was. Oh well. Let's keep mining up the sweet cobalt. Ooh, finally makes cobalt drill. What would you prefer me to make? Um, cobalt drills or cobalt pickaxes? Might as well say. Because I always go for the drills, but I think the pickaxes always do look cooler. But I don't know if the drills are faster or something. And if they were faster, why would they even give you an option of making the, pick making the pickaxe? Which seems a bit weird. But whatever. Go deeper. Oh! Brilliant. Didn't even notice I was dying. Okay, if we zoom out enough, we should be able to. Oh, yeah, maybe a bit too much. Quickly find our way back there. Using the skills of parkour and try not to die from full damage. But hopefully, we won't die from full damage because if we did, that would be very odd because we've got um, Lucky Horseshoe. Okay. Oh, and you fell into a hole. Those guys are evil. See those signs that shoot arrows? They have killed me so many times. Oh, wow. That was actually pretty impressive. I don't know how I managed to die that quickly. Um, probably didn't check my health before setting off. Looks fine. There you go. Just 
back up. Try to get back down there. I ought to be more careful about the fawns, because the fawns can kill you quite easily, because you just run through them without realising. They'll take down your health just enough so the enemies can kill you. Um, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. All the way down. I'm not really going the right way, but we can always really explore our way down there. Yeah, those um, mines just got me quite a lot. What area have we been in? Don't know. Let's check the chest. Probably not. Maybe you have. Don't know. Then take a look. <laughs> I always like the. I really like how they've added these now. Mm, wasp statu statues. Do wasp statues spawn the wasps? Cause I'm thinking of making some grinding traps. Oh, look, a little grub. Oh, grubby. <laughs> And there's a golden chest. There's a golden chest. Oh, it's a mimic! It's a mimic! Run! Mimics are awesome. They can drop you awesome loot. What's again? Are we gonna get anything? I hope we do. And we. Oh! He's trapped. And we're earning him. What's he gonna drop? Please be something good. Ooh, what is it? I think I know what it is, but I don't know if it's very good. Titan glove. Increases knockback. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. I guess. Depends what you're using it for. I want to really find some, um, make a corruption key thing, so then I can spawn a corruption chest, because you can get those absolutely awesome arrow, um, bows from that. And then, um, okay. Okay, we're just going deeper. Deeper we're going. Have we gone deeper than where I died? I don't really know where I died now. Oh, I died. Oh, oh, it's removed my um, death point from where I last died. Oh, and I didn't even pay attention. So I was too busy trying to look at the map. Congratulations. Ah. Okay, let's try not to fail this time. This one's easy, a lot easier to get to at least. We can get to it pretty fast using the tracks, I reckon. Super speed dying. I can't see where I am. Okay. Yep, using this tool here should be able to find my way pretty quick. If I go and have maybe we to find something that will recover my health. Um Nope, I haven't got anything. Some stuff down there. Stay away! Of justice. Oh, great. I'll hide him back down for him. Okay, I'm gonna die in a sec. Uh, there not be anything there. Silver bullet. That's quite cool. What are these seeds? I do not need these. Seeds are just cluttering my um, box. Oh, maybe that's in Violent Nature's. Reduces mana usage and increased speed. I think that can be used in a combination of things. To give you quite a cool um, item. Might want to keep that then. Whoa, a lot of guys down there. Luckily, this yo yo is absolutely awesome. You can like go around corners and stuff. Oh, 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 what is that? 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 I haven't seen a moth before. Butterfly dust? Why would you get butterfly dust from a moth? Has science gone too far? <gasps> I just realised I loaded my health was. And I'm right next to where I died. Like, I've got no health at all. Why haven't I got anything to heal myself with? I know that guy's seen me. Back to the hide cave. Throw some bee nades down there. Nope, not in here. <laughs> hey, he knows what he knows we're getting. What's this? It doesn't actually say what the butterfly dust is. Weird. We've got plenty of rope and stuff if we really need to get someone down somewhere deep, but. Don't really know. This isn't enough health, but. 
which really you can bring your chest or something, try to see what if I can find any useful drops. Maybe he's up in here. Oh, no, that's gonna kill me, that's gonna kill me. Ah! Why are there so many fish? Ooh, the compass. Oh, that does. Probably not anything too interesting. Why is there so many fish? Like, fish day or something? Guarding compass. That's pretty cool. Nothing in this chest, not even to heal with. But there is a Prana statue if I wanted that. We need to stop assessing all the statues. Okay. Oh. Wow. You can see what I mean by Hard Mode Jungle is so evil. Stupidly evil. I've died so many times. I don't reckon I've gotten any process. Progress, not process. Ugh. Try get a lot of people. At least I have a lot more health to start off with now. Better raid chests on the way, see if I can find any. This one potion might be useful, just drink it straight away. But there we go. Take down the tortoise. There we go. Probably sees me. But the power of yo the power of yo-yo compels you. Okay. Oh god, oh god. Nope. Why is that tiny beetle thing? Why is that What's with these tiny beetles? Everything wants to kill me. Ooh. Items. I have a small amount of health, not a safe amount. I should really try to stick around somewhere to heal, but I'm lag, not now. <laughs> not now. <laughs> I don't want to die. I don't like spikes of the lighting. The lighting kind. Take them down at least. That'd be good. Let's see if we can get back to the death spot. So, that guy sees me and he's coming for me fast. And two turtles. As soon as I get my stuff, I drop it again. Oh, is that spot there? The gravestone. Why are two turtles even there? They're like hogging the spot where I duck. Why does everything want to kill me? Literally everything. I'm not even exaggerating it. Look at that turtle! He just wants to dive in my face. Oh my god. See, everything is very angry. If one a bit closer, I'll be able to actually see. And... Okay, I reckon that guy will try to kill me one hit. Oh, there we go. No. Nope, nope, nope. Why can't these guys drop hearts? I don't want money, I'm just gonna lose the money. I need help. This is not helping me. That skeleton guy's gonna come through and completely destroy me in a sec. And we've got this area which is like spawning central. No, no, no. Oh! That took a lot of scared manness to do that. Oh, that was useful. I just saw a turtle fly through the sky. I am scared of everything. Especially that giant spider which I keep seeing in the slag. No, he's gonna kill me. No, he's gonna kill me. No. Oh, oh, no, everything's gonna kill me. Everything's gonna kill me. Why? Oh, why does everything want to kill me? Not even exaggerating it. <laughs> I can't even see it on the map. 
So if I had anything to more damage than me. It's, it's not even damage though, I need mean more defense than damage. My damage is okay, I can take them down. It's just how many can I take down before I die? <laughs> And there's another Mimic, there's another Mimic, which is great, but also awful, because they're really OP. Oh. Okay, that guy's down there, I can probably get him. Ah, you can't actually get up there. Brilliant. Okay, now I just take him down, get the loot, try to get the money back. What is it now? Oh, that's good, I can combine that with my, um, with my B stuff. And then... I can use that to make a bee star cloak which spawns bees and stars rain from the sky when I get hit. Which is pretty useful. That guy like tries to trick you, he like comes oh I can't reach that far, but then he like dies to you. There we go, got him. Don't even want as many. Just wanna live. Is that too much to ask? Ooh, what's that? It's like a cabbage. No bat. Why that? What well, now that? Okay, what is this? What is this? Ooh. Menacing cabbage. Immunity to poison. That would be very useful, but... Whew. It just looks like a cabbage. Cabbage anti-poison. Buy yours today and I'm about to probably die again. Cabin out in this corner. It's a camping corner find anything I can use to heal as usual, but knowing I have nothing. Try to eat fire mushrooms. <sighs> Can't even eat my journeyman bait, that would be quite useful. Maybe I can fish up some food. But would that be a good idea? I guess I can get down there and try fishing stuff up. Oh, oh okay. There's a lot of guys there. And they all want me dead. Get to avoid the contact. Incoming yo-yo. No, you do not come up here. Ooh. No. Oh, you are kidding me. I kill all that just to get killed by a jungle creeper. Now I don't know where I'll die for my last time. <laughs> it's an endless loop of how long do you survive? This should pretty much be a mini game. How long can you survive in the Gita Jungle? Gita Jungle? Oh, my voice went away. <laughs> I'll use a roller coaster to get down there. I guess I can follow the roller coaster and take it across. Actually, no, I couldn't from there. Because everything still is trying to kill me. <laughs> Mimics cool though, I'd like to see some more mimics because you can get a seat loot from them. I know you can get a golden dagger from a mimic, so that's pretty neat. Oh, you stay away. Stay, you stay back there. Don't you dare come closer. I reckon as soon as he's level up with me, he's gonna do that spin thing. Luckily not. Luckily you are hit. I guess if I camp out here, I can get extra healing stuff. If I can camp out here, fish up some fish, my two journeyman bait, and try and survive. Okay, have we got a fishing rod with me? Yes, I have. Exciting gameplay. There's a spectre fish, don't even know if I can eat that. Wooden crate, whatever. And another kind of spectre fish thing. I'm getting fish at least. Normal try, try to get a bass or something. That would be able to, but normally that's food. What is that? Okay, so we've got that. Got any glow sticks. Go 
a wooden crate. Got my cobalt. Salagen fish. It's like some kind of material. Loves all some specular fish. Any hornet there. Put that there. Is that all? Yeah. Weird. Don't know if I can heal from any of these. Nope. Uh, colourful scales could sell well. So maybe it's just an uh, expensive fish. So we just gained some fish. <laughs> and now we're getting swarmed by everything. Oh. Kill some things quick. And maybe we'll try and make our way back out because while we have been fishing we have healed quite a bit. Nice. One more. That was probably that banner doing all that work. Take it down. Moss hornets are sure like the worst. Oh, another mimic. I'm pretty sure. I'm starting to think that uh, mimics have drops every single time. I'm trying to like push them up. What do you drop? Necklace. Cross necklace. And I got the money back. Ultimate refund. I'm just trying to run now. Okay, can I get into that? This seems pretty good. Stay away from my hidey hole. <laughs> Even this worm isn't allowed in my hidey hole. <laughs> okay. Stay away. <laughs> or you'll all be set on fire. Nope. Nope. No turtles allowed. No turtle. Bad turtle. How do you turtles even do that? They must weigh so much. How can they fly? I don't allow flying turtles. Every time he jumps, he's gonna get hit. So he dies. You'd think he'd learn, but nope. This turtle has determination. This turtle has more determination than Frisk. And that's his downfall. Da -da -da. Try to whiz past these guys. It didn't work. Just try full not dying past these guys. Okay, I haven't actually been to this area before, so I don't know what's in the chest. And I don't want to die. No. Okay. Managed to get to the house. Lock all the doors. Gotta kill this guy. <laughs> Stay away! Stay away! <laughs> you have to think, who built these houses in these caves? It's so deep underground. Do not want that here. I've got magic mirror, so they're pretty much useless. Why are the lights off? So sad. Nothing useful in the chest. Actually, yes, there was. I just remembered what was in there. Which was going to become really useful as soon as I didn't need it. Um, okay. He's on top. Stay away, turtle. I wonder how common the drops are for them. Because I know there, there is a good drop, drop you can get from them. Just don't know what it is. Oh, and uh, he's attacking me. And I can't close the door. Why can't I close the door? There we go. So I look on the map, see where we can go. Seems to be some rail going up there that we might have been on once. Don't know. Could make an escape from the bottom. Not likely. Well, looking at what we've got, let's just open this quickly. I want to see what's in the chest. Let me see what's in the chest. Platinum bar. And journeyman's bait. Yay! Good old journeyman's bait. Well, I don't know how long we've been going for, but I think I'm going to end this episode here. So if you enjoy, please leave a like and tell me what I should do in the next episode. Because I don't know what I'm doing in the next episode. I just got turn the game on and go, hmm, I think I should go to the jungle and explore that. 
Well, that's what I do. <laughs> so, if you enjoyed the video, please give us a like and a thumbs up or whatever you want to do. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.